Hey guys, it's Gary back with another legal tip. This is a do not do this legal tip. So I see this all the time, thought I'd bring it to y'all's attention because it's wrong, it needs to stop. And what I'm talking about is when you're working with somebody that's got a property management agreement on their property. So they are an investor perhaps, or they're a homeowner that can sell their house. And so they hired a property management company or hired some real estate agency to rent their property and manage it. And in that agreement, there's going to be some type of, or some paragraph that says something to the nature of, if you, the property owner, sell the house during the term of this lease, or if you sell it in certain number of protected months, six months or 12 months after, that you um, will use that company as your listing agent. If you don't do that, then you'll pay them 3%. And I see these all the time. This isn't something new. This is something that's been around. In fact, I had an agent a couple of weeks ago saying, my client's got the property under a property management agreement. They want to use me to sell it. But the listing agreement said, or the property management agreement has this provision in there that they have to use the property management company's agents to sell the house. Is that valid? Well, the answer is no, it's not valid. In fact, it's illegal. And if you look at 4057, 135J, it says a real estate brokerage firm shall manage residential or commercial property under a written management agreement that sets forth as the following the minimum. And then it gives you six different items. Okay. So this is what a management written agreement in order to manage property, you have to have this written agreement. So what does it say? Item number six says terms and conditions of the, ten the tenant rental and lease agreement must be in the provision. And then it says, however, a management agreement may not may not contain a provision binding the property under a future listing agreement if the property is to be sold in the future, in which case a separate listing agreement is required. So putting that language in there, trying to bind somebody to a future listing is illegal under 40-57-135. So it's not valid. It's not enforceable. So if your client finds himself in a situation where they have a property and they want to sell and they want to hire you, but there's that provision in there, what I would simply advise is that they provide a copy of 135J6 uh, and say, that's not a valid provision, so I'm not complying with it. And if they don't want to hear that, then their next option is to the Real Estate Commission. It is clearly a violation of law, and clearly it is continuing to happen in our marketplace, and it needs to stop. So there's your, your ammunition when some some property broker or some other broker comes and says, oh, we were leasing this property and it says in our agreement, they're going to use us to market it or we get a percentage. That doesn't happen. Nothing in that provision is valid or legal. Check it out right here in this provision. All right. Lastly, I think that's a, something everybody needed to know about. Lastly, don't forget April 19th, the Real Estate Success Summit. Tickets are going to end probably next week or week after next. We don't have a lot of time to sell tickets because we have to tell the convention center how many people are coming. So you need to go ahead and jump on the link below and get those tickets before they cut us off. So I want to make sure you have ample opportunity to come to the event. We had about 350 people last year, so we like to get around the same amount this year. So don't forget to go ahead and sign up for the uh, event because once we turn the final number in, we're not allowed to add anybody else. So go ahead and take care of that, and we will see you at the uh, event or before. Y'all take care.